What's up, New Zealand? How's it going? Um, I'm Sam Ryder, by the way, and this is Cup of Tea. If I was an astronaut, I'd be floating in midair. And a broken heart would just belong to someone else down there. Okay, I'm gonna go mostly dead here. Um, John Bonham on drums, Phil Lynott on bass, Jimi Hendrix on guitar, Freddie Mercury on vocals, and let's get someone living in there. Um, Elton John on piano, why not? Um, I'm going to say it was the first gig I ever went to because nothing really ever matches that again. Um, for me it was Sum 41 at Wembley Arena in London. I remember coming home after that gig so stoked that I convinced my mum to get me guitar lessons like the next week. So yeah, big up mum. I went to New Zealand to visit some family actually when I was like 14 years old and we went to Rotorua and it stunk. I mean, it's amazing, but it stunk. And um, what was weird was you kind of get used to the smell, but when you leave, you miss it as well. Is it just me? Um, actually, one of the first albums I ever owned was Iron Maiden, Seventh Son of a Seventh Son, and I found it on my school bus. We were on a trip to visit a nunnery at the time, and I swear that's true. Curry, any any kind of curry. And I wanna go home. I'm up in space. I would say, well, there's a UK like comedy series called Peep Show. Don't know if you know that. It's amazing. Um, also, there's a Scottish show that I love called Still Game. Both equally hilarious. I'd like to think something quite majestic, like an eagle or a lion or something like that, but if I'm being truthful, probably something quite skittish, like a, a red squirrel or a chipmunk or something. My childhood was proper Huckleberry Finn vibes, so lots of like jumping in rivers and climbing trees and stuff like that, but one of the highlights was building dens and all of the kids around here would nick their dad's power tools and build these like mad fortresses. And I reckon they all still stand today and you can probably see them from space. Probably. Um, well, I would wield my power to do whatever was needed to commence production on National Treasure 3, because I've been waiting for a long time. I wouldn't be here without my mum and dad, I mean, chemically, I wouldn't, but also just doing music, there's no way, they never made me get a real job, they always believed in me, um, yeah, love you mum and dad, you're not going to see this, this is for New Zealand, but I love you. And I want to go home.